Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper procedure to locate a faulty control transformer in the residential split air conditioning simulator. The transformer steps the voltage down to 24 volts for the control circuit, including the thermostat as well as relay coils in both the indoor and the outdoor unit. We're going to start by clicking on the thermostat icon here at the bottom right of the page, which takes us to the thermostat. Clicking on the blue square, it'll set the thermostat to the cool position, as well as turn the temperature down. Our next step is to take a quick inventory of which electrical loads are running. So we're going to start at the indoor unit by clicking on the indoor unit icon. And if you have speakers, you would, you'll be able to hear the indoor blower running. Um, this is not occurring. Uh, if you don't have speakers, you can simply click on the side door here, and there will be a spinning blue arrow graphic that's provided to verify indoor blower operation. And this is not occurring, so our indoor blower is not running. Our next step is to go to the outdoor unit and see if the compressor and condenser fan motor are operational. And here we can see that neither one of these components is running, so all three of our primary electrical loads are not operating. Now this means we could have a couple different problems. We may in fact have an indoor breaker or an indoor disconnect that's faulty. We could have a thermostat that's faulty or possibly the transformer is not sending 24 volts and that's faulty. Now you can review both the wiring and equipment diagram up here at the top right of the page. If we look at the wiring diagram, uh, we can see that both the indoor fan relay as well as the contactor coil here on the bottom in the 24 volt circuit, both of these are controlled by the thermostat, the transformer, and the indoor disconnect. So let's start by going back to the indoor unit. We're going to store the wiring diagram away, and we're going to remove the cover. And inside here, what we have is we have a transformer here on the left, and we have the indoor fan relay, relay here on the right. Now, our first step is to verify that the transformer is receiving line voltage. So we're going to click on the toolbox tab over here and take the digital multimeter or volt ohm meter out of the toolbox. We're going to click the selector dial to AC volts, and we're going to place it on the line side or primary side of the transformer. Okay, and when we place the meter leads here, we can see that we have 240 volts coming into the transformer. Something I suggest if you're new at this is to use the procedure guide up here at the top left of the page. If you click on that tab, it walks you right through each step in the troubleshooting process. Um, we've turned the thermostat to cooling, we've determined that the indoor fan is not running, nor is the compressor and condenser fan not running. And this is where we're at right now. We do have 24 volts at the transformer uh, at the indoor unit. The red and white terminals on the right side, or red and right white wires, are our primary side of the transformer. So we're going to click yes here. Our next step is to measure for 24 volts at the secondary side of the transformer. So we're going to just simply remove the meter leads and place them on the secondary side or 24 volt side of the transformer. And as we can see here, we've got no voltage coming out of the transformer. So we have input voltage on this side, but nothing on the output side. This indicates that the transformer is faulty. Uh, an additional check would be to turn the power off, remove the connections or wires from the transformer, and perform a simple resistance check of each side of the transformer. Next, prior to replacing the transformer, I would suggest just tightening the connections up, making sure it's just not simply a loose connection. If it's not, at that point, we're going to store the meter away, and we're going to click on the transformer, and we're going to replace it. If we click Replace, it states that this is going to cost $210, and we're going to proceed. And as we can see, this corrected our problem. Very important, don't forget to put all caps and covers back on the unit. So just click on the door here, that'll put that back on. I'm just gonna quickly go out to the outdoor unit and make sure we closed everything up here, which we have. Now, inside here, if you look around and pan around, you'll see the broom in the corner. Clicking on the broom allows us to clean the work area. Click the broom, and this gives us our fifth star. Good luck.
Hey, it is hey, Craig it is with Craig Interplay, with Interplay Learning. Learning. We hope you enjoyed, hope this, enjoyed this, last last this last video. The easiest, the easiest way to keep, way keep up all with all of our latest, latest videos is by subscribing, subscribing to our page, to our page right, here. right here. Just to let, just you, know, to let you know, if you're interested, if you're interested to learn how simulations, how simulations are, critical are critical to onboarding, to onboarding and, improving and improving you or your employees' performance, performance in the field, please visit us at interplay-learning.com.